Hi, I'm Valder6 and today I'm going to do some repair work on my tripod here. Uh, the moment where we screw our camera onto, that's just seemed to have disintegrated. It's made of this really cheap Chinese plastic and uh, and as you can see she's, she's all just completely and utterly disintegrated. Complete and utter bollocks that is. So, obviously now with it like this, either the screw won't sit into the camera properly or it just rocks. So we need to do something about it. So I'm thinking, cut up an old piece of leather boot and make a little leather, I've got no rubber here as such, make a little leather platform and glue that back on there. So that's what I intend to do. <coughs> so I'm going to make a template and then I'm going to cut a piece of, cut a piece of old uh, leather boot up. So this is a quick adapt top tripod, um, so it just comes off easy. And these little, you know, your, your quarter twenty screws got to come back over here. So we just slide that back, and then that'll pull out. But we've got the video pin, so I shall have to go and get a screwdriver or something, and see if we can get that out. I'm just going to try it on this edge of this, see if that'll just push that out. Yeah, that's undone. I think it's made of brass. You do run a risk, of course. There you are. See, look at that. Look, just, just absolute rubbish. The plastic is, the plastic is hard. So that's that video. You know, it's just a pin. The little. That's why they can push out the way if you put an ordinary camera on there. So that's that. So that's how I'm going to just draw around this, cut a piece, and then I'm going to emboss it in there. Well, that's, my, that's my intention. So I just cut myself a little template of cardboard out. I'm going to, because this is recessed. So I'm going to have to, you know, get the accurate size inside there. So what I thought I'll do, I'll just get that in, and then I'm going to get this knitting needle and just emboss it round like so. So I'll know where where to cut. Just do that all the way round like so, just to get my template. So like I say, I just pushed the cardboard down with this needle, drew around it. So that's now give me the m m rough size to now get this piece of leather. So, got this old work boot. Actually, I threw it out last week because I bought myself a new pair. Um, these are made by Groundwork, I think, or Earthworks, and uh, they're shit. You know, they're not that expensive, but uh, they didn't last. They aren't really fit for purpose. The other one completely worn out where the, where you know, where the angle. The steel tool cap, where this piece is here, just rotted through. So got this out of the bin because you know, thought I'd better get on with something. And I think we'll use the leather of this. I'm not going to cut cut a section out here somewhere, somewhere where it's big enough to get this get this piece, and uh, and then we'll go from there. Right. So we've ripped a bit of that out. Just took a bit out of the boot. Yeah, they were the model. Just didn't last. So these are winter lined. So we've got the winter lining. Then we've got a, a foam lining as well. The insulation. So they're nice and warm in the winter. So I'll give them that. And then we've got our leather. So the leather is what we want. So we get that foam taken off. And then we'll mark it out. So I've got my template on there, drawn round it, and I flipped it over. So because I've got one side I've drawn better than the other, you can see. So I'll put that out there. Now I'm going to try and cut that out with scissors, see how we get on this first time. If it don't work, we'll try something else. Well, I managed to cut it with the scissors, it wasn't a problem. Obviously, it's not that accurate, but 
I'm not trying to sell it or nothing, so it's got, it's got to just work for me and this is going to. As you can see we've got a bit of ruck there so I've got to do a little bit more trimming on this bottom piece here. I ain't quite got to the line and a bit off this side. But other than that she is sitting down in the recess. So I'm quite pleased with that. So we'll get it, get it trimmed a bit better. So I've got to just scribe, you know, the hole for the camera mount um, screw in there. And we've also got the video point. Now this would have been, so she's fitted in there quite nice, this would have been ideal if you'd have got a set at the crimpers, you know, where you, you punch the holes out, which I have got, stuff like that, but I don't know where they are today, you know. Um, so we'll we'll be cutting that out by hand, um, you know, it'd be nice to punch it out, but we can't. So so that's what I'm going to do next, just scribe on the inside where I've got a cut for the mountain screw, and, and then we'll push through from the top and estimate where this one go for the video uh, lock and part. Well, there we have it, cut out and done. Um, that would have been a lot nicer if you'd had a punch to punch these out. And uh, I've got another one to do, the tripod what I'm using to film this on, is the same thing has happened with that. Um, you know, like a, it is a piece of another one, just come off, but you can glue that back on. But uh, yeah, so this isn't an unusual phenomenon. Um, got myself some Yoohoo glue. <coughs> It's very good out of the pound shop, out of the dollar store. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these, take that pin out, put that on top of there, and I've got a weight, so I'm just going to put a bit of glue around the edge, and uh, what have you. And then that way, shall all be done. And you who glue is for fabric. Sure. So I'll just pop this on here and then I'll use a weight and leave it to dry overnight. That'll be job done. And that didn't look bad that way up. Had I made a neat job of it, I might have done it the other way round. Smell really nice this glue, I can see why they sniff it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this it's all pushed into the proper the area. I've got a steel plate here, put that on top of it. Like so. And I've got a 28 pound weight somewhere. That's alright. Okay, I'll lay down. Yeah, so we've got £28 weight on there. Leave that overnight and she'll be done. That'll be good as new. There goes the dog. Anyway, thanks for watching.